Okay, so the police station is currently under attack. We are going to take this moment to grab some fuel and run. Run away, far away. Uh, I'm taking some, some extra gas with me just in case we don't get things going through with us. Uh, but we're taking the truck, the only good truck. We shall refuel it and we shall leave. I know that the siege has just ended, of course. Typically it's just ended as I'm ready to go. But we're taking Richardson. Richardson is like the second in command. She's going to scout it out. Oh god, my stomach's still having a little bit of a rumble. Oh dear. Uh, Amy was with us. And because she was with us, I think she might be a little bit injured or like tired or whatever. Which is why I'm not going to take her. It's over. Um, to like lead That's the relief. charge into the new land. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> you are not the one I'm looking for. Not today, sir. Right, so, we're heading towards Cascade Hills. I'm incredibly excited because I don't know what to expect in this place. Um, I'll let you know if it's the starting area that I've seen before, but one of the starting areas I don't think I have seen. Maybe I've seen them both? I can't remember. Oh god. Once we leave, we can never come back. Our base is out out uh, outpost. Relations abandoned, but take as many resources as we can as we break down the base. Let's do it. Let's go. We're taking as many resources as possible. I'm hoping we still take everything in the supply drop. <laughs> Otherwise, we're a bit buggered. All we've got is some gas. Um, I've got a feeling it might let us take everything, though. I'm hoping and I'm praying. Otherwise, this is going to be very difficult. We might lose some people otherwise. Oh dear. She also spoke about breaking down the base, so I'm wondering if you only get to go through with materials and everything else you leave behind. So all of your food, all of your fuel, you might end up leaving all that. Come on. What do we get? We get everything. We get everything. We even get a little campsite. Oh my god. Look at all the influence we've got. Holy shit. Oh my god. We don't have a car. <laughs> we don't have a car and I don't know where we are. Um. Right. So already I feel like I can see some areas that might have some houses. Holy shit, right, okay, can someone come with me please, Frasier? Come on. Come let's with go. me. Alright, lead Look the at way. That big ass fucking sniper that she's got. Look at that. That big boy. She's also got a fucking sword. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't think we'd get everything. That's really, really nice. Uh, if we can find a place to camp, that'd be great. If we can find a place to live, uh a survey point would be nice, but that one's quite far away. Oh my god. I spotted a plague zombie. Oh be shitting careful. hell, there's a horde here. Come on. Holy shit. Oh my god, thank you, Frazier. Now to go in for the kill. I know, I know. We haven't got anything. Can we beef up security? We can't beef up anything. I cop, Chief Jackson. He could help us if he's still alive. I could try to find him. What? I like what I'm hearing. Wait, so he's got Oh <gasps> he's got a mission! Yes! We need a policeman! Uh we also need a house! <laughs> We really badly need a house. Oh my god, I can't believe it. We're going to have to go for that survey point because I can't find anything. I can't see a single thing out here. God, oh, there's a fucking river. You're having a laugh. I'll go around it, it's fine. I'll go around it. Keep on telling myself that everything's gonna be fine. Hey, uh, you 
Dennis, who the fuck is Dennis? No! We're busy! Where is he? All the way over there? Don't I'm think so. This town is entirely abandoned. No, 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 no. There'll be some sort of settlement in this area. Guaranteed. It's just about finding it. I need a breather. I know you do. Next one's the last one. But it's tough shit at the moment, Richardson. We're getting you up this pole. I know that we've left Frasier, but it's fine. We'll sort that. I think right. I found our next outpost. So you found an outpost, that's not good enough, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh god, is Frasier okay? She's just like in the middle of nowhere, not really doing anything. She's just like standing around. I wonder if she's being attacked or something. Anybody listening out there? I can use a hand. Right. Come on. I wonder if I can get it started. Spacious garage. There's survivors living in there. Okay, so we found an enclave. That is what I call a good outpost location. Power generator, house by the pond. I've got a feeling these might be the foothills. Uh. Has Fra Oh, thank God you're okay. I can't be losing you, Frasier. You've been here a while. You've certainly stepped up since joining us. That just might be a Ooh. good place for a new home. Lock and lock and what? Lock and keep. Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> but that's our next house, apparently. Uh, where is it? Is that it? No. There. So. Oh, okay. Oh, it's got a secret distillery. Elaborate storage. Sheltered beds, parking, watchtower, lockers. Oh my god, it's perfect. Right, we're going to it. We're going to go to it. It comes with built-in beds, it's got elaborate storage, and a distillery. It's perfect. Now I am, because we've got so much influence, I am going to be aiming to get um, the best place here. So whichever one's like the 3,000 one. Oh god. That's the plan. Uh, how well that goes is completely different, but they're probably going to be the two bases we have in this place. This beginning place and um, and the final, the big, the big one, the big boy. Fuck you, you shit. Oh my god. Oh, what is this? What are we living in? It's like some sort of fairground place. Why? <laughs> oh my god, it's like the Loch Ness... Okay, it's the Loch Ness Monster thing. Right. Oh, it's actually quite big. <gasps> Someone takes that out of context. Take take it out of context. Clip it. Edit it. Use that. Use that little sound bite. Alright, let's search this fucking place. Locked. It's fucking Wait, huge, this settlement. Uh, what's around here? We're just gonna have to search it the best I can. Have we got like a back entrance? Yeah, it looks like they might be able to climb over that. I can't remember if zombies do climb. Yeah, they do climb in this game. I do remember. This could be our next home. Yeah, it looks like this all gets cleared out. That's really cool. I like the concept actually. Oh god, right. Just trying to like search out as many places as possible. As soon as it's an elaborate storage, I was like, "Yes, that's that place." Brilliant. Still a few undead around. Ah, you shit. So now we've got to do is clear out all these zombies. We're coming into this place like pretending we've got a lot of like force and guns and stuff, but in reality we we've not. <laughs> We've just got more than everybody else, and that's all that matters. It's all that ever matters. Where is it? Oh, it's there. Oh, we've got a little back door. Boom. 
Hello. Boom, there we go. Just whack it. Right, let's secure this site and get set up. Uh, yes, claim it. Moving dismantles facilities and refunds resources. Construction is faster after moving. That's fine. There we go. Five beds short. That's not good. <laughs> We're five beds short. Oh god, and I've just stretched it. It's absolutely killed my arms. <laughs> right, so let's take a look at this. Uh... Oh, so we can actually upgrade those anyway. Let's get on it. So it starts off with two and it gets plus to another two. So that will sort out the five bed situation. Secret distillery. Let's get that sorted. Um, let's get clearing that out. That's already number two, which is great. So we can just move when we're ready. Um, and it's already got a mod in. Even better. Uh, built in watch. Oh god, my stomach decided to take over then. Built in watchtower. Which I didn't even know. Oh yeah, of course, the big bloody fort, of course I know. And then we've got all these places to clear out. Oh no, just one. So we've got two more indoor slots and then one large outdoor slot. So that would probably be the farm. Because we do need one. Uh... Right, sorry, I'm just having a little gander around. Clear that. Brilliant. We're on our way. We're on our way to getting our place set up. We're safe. That's the important thing. Oh dear. And we've actually got quite a lot of stuff nearby. And we've got a mission. Uh, he wants some materials. And because they're neighbouring folks, I think they might join us if we help. There's also survivor in need. Activi uh, activity at the survivalist's house. And then police training, which is switched to Frodson, which we will do actually, because I kind of want to get this person. So Chief mm. Jackson is who we're going to get. Travel to the isolated house where Chief Jackson used to live. So we are going to need a vehicle. I'm getting ready for another stomach gun. Pay yourself. There it is. That's horrible. How in the world do you get up there? Oh right, okay, that big ass ladder's probably it. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to figure out what we need to build because there's a lot of space here. This is way better than the police facility. I also want to know which ones. The secret distillery. Is there like an underground area? One, two, three, four. So it must be in here. Yeah, managed secret distillery. I wonder why it's secret. I have no idea. Right. Let's, um... Oh, I really don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Oh, what's going on? Shit's going down over there. Right, we're going to need a workshop, but I don't know if I would like be building this stuff inside or not. Um, oh, the beds have been sorted out, which is nice. Uh, oh, we can install shelving to get even more storage. Oh, no, we can't. We can't modify this place. That's a shame. Uh, stores extra ammo. When filled, supplies water to a facility. Use fuel to power a facility. I don't know if I've got more than one of them. But let's install a mod. Um, I guess water. And then maybe give one power. So one gets water, one gets power until we can get those generators sorted. Still space to swing a hammer. They're actually all right little areas. They're a bit plain and a bit barren, but... I could get I could get used to it. It's understandable seeing as how many people we've got. That one's a little bit better actually. Um Right yeah, this is definitely gonna have to be a farm. 
I'm a good trend when I see one. Let's keep it up. Oh, we don't have enough people. <laughs> We've not got enough of a workforce at the moment. Now can we do it? No, we've still got enough, not got enough of a workforce to do that. Right. Of course, everyone's doing things already. Right. Can we at least build a workshop? Um, I want to build it there. I'm building it outside because I kind of want to have, like, a morale booster on the inside. Or maybe do, like, a fighting area or something on the inside. I think it makes a little bit more sense. I'm just trying to figure out, is this the main entrance? Time for me to head out. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, right, there's a car there, there's a taxi. We'll go grab that taxi. And go sort out this mission. Oh! Trodson took a hit. Oh, we've still got Frasier. Screamers. I thought I'd dismissed her. Oh, shit. You bastard. Where's she gone? Has she had enough? Oh, she's disappeared. She's fucking disappeared. Of course she has. I can't have anything nice. We're going to have to sort out this police dude. Hopefully he's going to join us. If he joins us, that's going to be amazing. We pretend Frasier can get in. You can get in, Frasier. Invisible Frasier. Did she just spawn in and kill somebody? <laughs> it looked like it. If I was a policeman, where would I go? I'm expecting him to be, like, some sort of proper beefed up looking dude. Like, he just looks huge. <laughs> Like, um, Piscatella from Orange is the New Black, he's just this fucking six foot tall giant of a man. With like a big bushy beard. Either that or he looks like a mole cop. Good old Paul Blart. Paul, Paul Blart, Paul Blart, Paul, Paul Blart, Paul Blart, Paul, Paul Blart, Paul Blart. Oh god, there's a fucking roadblock there. I still don't know what map we're in. <laughs> I don't know what a plateau is. I don't know if like that's meant to be like flat. Maybe this is the foothills, which is kind of where I wanted to go. Uh, Do we go to Cascade Hills? <laughs> it's probably a clue. Wait, so... So he's not in here. There's no chance of him being here. We're just looking here for gear now. Gear, 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 gear. Gear man! Some lovely gear. Ow! You, need a break. you don't need a break, you're fine. You've just beheaded a zombie. Mm, I don't think so. Whoa! On sight and on task. Hello. Search for police grade weapons left behind by Chief Jackson. I can hear a nasty zombie. Hang on. Ah, no, please. Everything was going so well. Ooh. You shit. Whoa. Come on, give me some of these lovely weapons. Oh, finally, just what I needed. Road flares and microwave popcorn. Please tell me we weren't looking for road flares this entire time. Oh! I've never seen that one before. Oh! Oh! There's sure to be some weapons in here. It looks like a weapon cabinet. That's not too bad, I guess. Okay. Okay. We got a we got a little a, a little revolver. Oh, look at that. That's a little fucking foot box, foot locker box at the end of the bed. Oh. Hey. Remember that little task I had you working on? Oh. Again. 
A little weapon shaped, weapon length cabinet thing. A police chief's baton. Really? That's what we came for? Shit. I never saw Chief Jackson without this baton. If it's here, I don't think he made it. Brilliant. That sounds pretty tough, kid. Kid? Kid? Frodson looks older than fucking everybody else there. Kid. Jesus Christ. We're missing something to search. What if this dude's got like a fuck ton of food? Or like a fuck ton of medicine or ammo or something? Well, he's not gonna have ammo in there, is he? Looks like that's it Some for Luke. Parts, brilliant. Let's head back. So, uh, we're also gonna talk about what I'm gonna do off camera. I'm gonna continue building the base off camera. I don't know if I'm gonna do a lot off camera. Um, I'm probably going to do a lot of surveying and scavenging and stuff and just making sure that I just generally survive this place. Um, in fact, on the way back, we'll talk to the neighbours. Because I'm sure that we can get some materials for them. We've got a fuck ton of materials anyway. So we'll see if we can sort some stuff out. Um, if they don't join us, I'll work on getting like outposts and stuff and just seeing if I can improve my morale with them. Because we could really, really do with getting more people to populate our new little military point in the storage center. Hello? Dennis? Hello? Hello? Hey there, stop on in for a while. Oh, you're so nice. Rio, you're like Arela uh, Arellano from last time. <coughs> Jeffrey! Who is Jeffrey? Oh, you're Jeffrey. These people look like the type of people I need on my team. Look at how cool they all look. Oh, we can't trade with them, though. I know we're not big on doing each other favours, but could you spare some materials? Uh, yes. Yes is the word to that. Um, so hopefully they don't turn hostile. They are neighbouring folk and not like anything else, so I've got a feeling they are going to be quite friendly. So yeah, off camera I'll also search for new locations and stuff. Oh, this is a lot better now that I know the actual entrance, or one of the entrances at least. <laughs> Comes in through the back, fantastic, just how I like it. Let's have a little look. So we've cleared everything out, we've got the distillery up and running by the looks of things. Manage the secret distillery. So we can convert food into fuel now. Uh, and then, you know, the usual food into ethanol, ethanol to whiskey. Um, let's start doing some of that. Because we've got a lot of ethanol that I've been saving up just in case we found another one of these. Uh, bedrooms are sorted. Let's take a look at the base map. Gas it up. Fill it up. Get these places sorted out and boost morale and stuff like that. Um, until we can get some outposts sorted. Build a generator. We are not doing that. We are not doing that. We will switch away from Trodson and ignore his personal goal. That ain't happening. Um, but we will get the rucksack for the other, for the other people. Because we might gain someone. We might. It would be nice. Why do I keep flicking through menus? What am I doing? <laughs> What's going on? Right. Uh, can't upgrade that. There's the elaborate storage. We've got a small indoor slot, of course. We need to build an infirmary. And we're going to build it there. Because it makes sense that it's near the beds. So we've got six beds at the moment. We need some more. Which is an issue. We might need to turn this into some beds. Which I don't really want to do. Just trying to figure out what we could be doing here. <laughs> um, you can't clear out these places either. Oh no, you can. So if you tear that down, I wonder if you get like an indoor slot. I'm going to test that out off camera. Uh, oh, in fact, no, look, it just it only takes a second. Do it now. Yes, so you get an indoor slot. Okay. 
so... Oh my god, I've got an idea. So if I build outside a large barracks... And we go for what I did before. We convert it so that it gives us like eight beds or something. And then we've got the sheltered beds. Or we just have another outdoor area. We'll just have people sleeping outdoors. So get rid of that place as well. This is what we're doing. <laughs> right. What I will do is I will focus on sorting this out off camera. Um, and exploring the place, seeing if I can get these people to join us, sorting out the base, and next time, hopefully, we'll have an established little little settlement that I can show you guys around that the militia have now moved into. Thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Please do leave any suggestions and stuff like that down below, and I will see and um, try my best to see if I can do it. I'm mixing up words and I'm scared now. Uh, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. Go check out my other series where I take a look at bases around the world and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.